Good morning! Welcome to another reading vlog. So, mostly at the moment we're working on our nudes. Uh, physical book wise, I will be reading this most of the week. Hopefully I can finish it before too long because it is due back at the library and I don't want it to take me the whole month to read. Plus I am really enjoying it. I've only started a little tiny bit of it but I am really enjoying it so I just honestly if I had complete freedom over my life and like infinite time I would just sit down and read the whole thing and not stop but that's not how life works. So then audiobook wise I am currently reading Quiet Power by Susan Cain. You can't really see that. It's just a short little book about introvert stuff. It's said to be quite good so I hope so. I'm gonna do a review video about a bunch of different introvert related audiobooks that I read and this is the last audiobook that I need to read for that. Then the next audiobook that I have is The Mad Ship by Robin Hobb. Now this is a 34 hour audiobook which is somewhat crazy. It's also due back in 15 days and there's people waiting so I won't be able to renew it. So I need to finish that but I realize there's a problem. If I'm going to try and read my newts in AEO order then potions is a little bit messed up now because uh, I was going to read Unthinkable for my AM potions which is fine I'll just have to hurry up and get through that book. Then for my E I was going to read Sea Witch but my Sea Witch hold for the audiobook is not going to come in until the end of the month at least and then I'll need to read both of those before I'm able to finish listening to the Mad Ship for my O. So what I did is I went through all the available audiobooks in my library which was very dangerous because I ended up putting a bunch of holds on things which I didn't mean to do and now I'll end up with way too many audiobooks to read some point in the future. But that again is future me's problem. I'm always doing this to future me. She gets so mad. So the, the prompt that I was trying to fulfill is to read a book in your house colors and there weren't actually that many green books that are available in audiobook at my library and most of them were like the second or third or fourth in a series which is no good either but I did find this Seven Wonders for Colossus Rises by Lit Peter Larangis and I think this is actually like a middle grade or like a, quite a young book which I've never listened to an audiobook targeted at that younger market before so that will be interesting. It's eight hours so I think I'm going to end up needing to listen to a lot of audiobooks this week. Somehow needing to fit in Unthinkable as well as finishing off Words of Radiance. So there's a lot of reading to be done this week. Also this week what I'm doing to myself is I'm going to be putting aside working hours in the day so just 10 till 2 and that's going to include a lunch break so like as if you'd ever get a real job that would be that lax in its hours but I have been wanting to do some work related stuff and I just never seem to get to it so I figure if I put aside some fixed time in which to do it then hopefully I'll actually get some stuff done. In fact I will get some stuff done it's just a question of whether I'll still manage to get enough done to keep myself satisfied. So it's now 8.45 so I've got about an hour before work starts um, and I am going to try and get my reading vlog from last week up before I need to start work. So I am going to go and do that and then I'll check in with you again later this evening when I actually get to do some reading. Oh it has been so freezing cold today that I've just put on a million layers because I'm about to go out to the supermarket uh, today I had quite a nice day at work. Um, I got some stuff done on this website I'm putting together and so yeah so far first day of working hours has um has worked out quite well. I also managed to fit in some other booktube stuff. I was a bit annoyed because it kept raining randomly all day so I was gonna go for a run and then a walk with my sister and I didn't really trust the weather to do either of those but it is supposed to clear up tomorrow so hopefully that won't turn out to be a lie. As far as reading goes I managed to read a hundred pages of Words of Radiance so at least I am making some progress. I think when I come back from the supermarket I will try and read a bunch more and actually catch up because I have this little graph of like how I need to be tracking in pages per day in order to read all the books I want to read this month and I am very behind so I definitely need to catch up but 
I think I can do it. I'm confident. It was, it's the kind of day which I feel like I can be confident. Maybe. Hey, so it is now Tuesday afternoon. To be honest, I'm having a bit of a lazy day. It's actually that time of the month. I'm lucky I only tend to have one bad day from it, but today is going to be the day, and so I'm going to use that as an excuse to have a pretty lazy day, and I am sitting here finishing off Words of Radiance, finishing off, not finishing off, getting going. I'm up to about page 150, which is not as far as I was hoping to be, but hopefully... Uh, if I have this lazy afternoon and evening, I can get caught up on things. I did just read this scene that was about a stick, and it was hilarious. Uh, I just loved it, and I'm really liking the direction that the magic is going in. Although last night, when I was reading this, something happened that made me very upset. I was yelling at the book, it made me cry, so... I mean, it's a good book, it's making me feel things, but I'm sure there's going to be plenty more in this book that will upset me too, to be honest, because there is some bad shit coming, but I am really enjoying it, so hopefully I can get plenty of reading time today. Oh, also, last night I did make quite a lot of progress on Quiet Power by Susan Cain, and I realized that the one I'm reading is actually targeted at teenagers, and that there's another book that if I just scrolled down a little bit further in my library, I would have seen, that is designed for adults. So I've had to put a hold on that, and that's going to take like another seven weeks to come through. So I thought I was nearly ready to do my 1,000 pages of introvert books, uh, review wrap up thing but it's gonna be a couple more months instead oops but never mind that's okay I've got reading to do morning so you can probably tell whenever I'm wearing my dressing gown in the morning it means I'm having a slow start morning I didn't sleep well last night yesterday to be honest was pretty much a fail uh, so <laughs> that's okay. It happens. I don't know why I decided to try and start a new schedule at the same time as bleeding to death. That seems like bad planning, but I'm going to try and continue. So it's nearly 10 o'clock, which means it's nearly time for me to start work. So I am going to go and get dressed because uh, that will help me to feel like I can be more productive and I am feeling better than I did yesterday. Also yesterday, I am up to about page 300 of Words of Radiance and I am loving it like it's <sighs> such a great story and I, I'm finding out so many things and I can't wait to see how everything fits together and the magic's so cool and the characters and oh anyway I'm loving it but yesterday even though I spent a significant amount of time reading I still only really read as much as I should for the day and maybe a little bit more like I'll just if I show you my graph I'm not really catching up I'm still behind and I know that once I fin finish Words of Radiance that a lot of the other books I'm going to read will be a lot quicker so it's not like I expected my graph to kind of go like that but mm, I really would feel better if I could be reading a little bit faster also just I'm really enjoying the book so I wish I could just give up on the rest of life and spend all my time reading it, but that is not a realistic way to live. Unfortunately, they like, wouldn't it be good if it was? Anyway, I am going to get my life together and then we will see when we can fit some reading in, probably not till later today. Good evening, so it is Wednesday night. I've had kind of a good day it was nice weather I went for a run I got some work stuff done uh, I did manage to almost finish quite quiet power but I'm not quite there um, which is annoying also you know how I went to all the effort of finding like a replacement green book for what, what was it for my potions I think it was for potions um, because I didn't think Sea Witch was going to come in on time. My Sea Witch hold came through. Last time I looked at it, it said it would be four weeks away and then suddenly it's here. So I'll be reading that again. It does mean that in I think about the next 13 days, I need to read about 50 hours of audiobook. So I'm going to need to start getting on to that. Right now I have just started reading 
Words of Radiance again. Um, I'm up to page 325. My goal tonight is actually to hit page 500. I kind of think that's not achievable. It is already nearly 9 o'clock. Um, and I try to go to bed like 10 or 11. So I guess there's a few more hours. But it does take me quite a bit of time just to get through the pages of Words of Radiance just because they're quite big pages for starters um, so there's a lot to them and it's I don't know it's not fast reading I mean I'm not a super fast reader anyway um, but normally I kind of estimate at a minute a page but I suspect for Words of Radiance that it is longer than that so really reading 175 pages will take like three hours so that would be till midnight and that's an optimistic estimate so I think I need to accept that I'm not going to reach 500 pages but we'll see how far I can get at least. I am really enjoying it so that's the good thing but the bad thing is that I did try today to renew some of my books at the library to get myself some more time or less fines and it didn't work out. They've all got hold lists on them so uh, I guess I'm just going to be getting some fines. But I will try to finish all these books as quickly as possible so that I can minimize my fines. I think the fine isn't too much per day, but I guess we'll see. Maybe I should actually double check that because uh, if it's really ridiculous, I might just have to change up my TBR. Maybe I should do that anyway. That probably would be the good thing to do. I don't know. I'm not making the decision now. I will make it tomorrow morning. Good morning we are having another dressing gown morning and it's already 9 30 and I've done nothing except have breakfast but I am really excited because Gemma from a story and a song just posted a TBR video using my TBR machine which was really cool to see like I use it myself every month but it's fun to see somebody else use it and like have it be a thing out in the world so that was cool to see hi all it's Gemma Astoria and the song and today I'm going to be letting Lisa Lane's TBR machine choose four books for my August TBR. Now the TBR machine is a randomised website that basically gives you challenges which you can then choose books from your TBR show. So thank you Gemma and I will leave her link down below if you want to check her out because she is a really great booktuber and she talks about some really great books. So books i should talk about books too since that's what we're doing here uh last night honestly i should have checked in with you but i was so tired i finished part two of words of radiance and brandon sanderson is just so good at like having those reveals that like blow your mind but also leave you with so many more questions so i don't know what i'm gonna do today i really uh, it's sunny right now, but I believe it's going to rain all day. I need to go and do some exercise because I haven't gotten out much at all recently. Uh, I also need to do some work stuff. I was going to film this afternoon, but I think I'm just going to put that on pause until Sunday or something. Because I want to try and fit in as much of this as I can. Probably tomorrow and Saturday I will spend most of it with Jace, so I won't get any reading done. So... I think I'm gonna be really behind but also like I just want to I just want to read this it's such a good story I don't know I feel like when I finish it I'm just gonna to want to pick up the next book in the series and it's a problem I bet there's I should I should add myself to the hold list should I am I ready for another massive book I wonder how long the hold list is oh my goodness Oathbringer is just available there's no hold list I'm not going to request it yet because that would kill me if that arrived at the moment. Wow, there's heaps available. So when I'm ready to read Oathbringer, I can just read it. I guess a lot of people haven't made it to Oathbringer. Not enough people for there to actually be a hold list. Uh, plus it's been out for a couple of years, so like the initial burst of excitement is probably over. But, I mean, Words of Radiance had a lot of holds on it. So, anyway... I am right now looking at my holds and thinking about if I have three books that are overdue and it's like a dollar. Oh, I don't. I have two books that are overdue. It's weird because I've got two books that are both due back on the 7th and one of them, Words of Radiance, is saying there's a fine. But Spellslinger 
is not saying there's a fine. Is that because it's actually 50 cents a day per book? Or I could look up how it works. But what I really want to try and do is see about Spell Slinger. Could I get it somewhere else? You know what? My battery's about to die. So I'm going to go and work out my library dramas and try and get myself ready to do some reading. Okay, so I found out that my library has BorrowBox as well as Libby. And on BorrowBox, the audiobook for Spellslinger is going to be available, it says, halfway through August. So I'm going to return this to the library. I'm going to go now, have a nice little walk. I 100% don't trust the weather, but we're going to cross our fingers and just, I need to get out and... While I'm there, I will listen while I'm walking. I should be able to finish off Quiet Power and start on Sea Witch. So that'd be some good audiobook progress. I'll return this to the library so that at least I won't get any fines on this one. I'm still going to rack up some fines on Words of Radiance, but that's okay. And also I realized like if I swap this out for the audiobook, that fixes my progress graph without me even really reading anything. So... Good work, me. Typical Slytherin behavior, finding a workaround, but whatever works. Also, I do think when I get back, I think I'm going to just dye my hair purple. I've got some purple. I'm just going to chuck it in and see how it goes. I can't really be bothered, like, bleaching my hair to give it a good base, even like my roots keep growing out. But I don't care. I'm just going to chuck some purple on and see how it goes. Because I'm getting bored of blue. It doesn't really stay in very well in my hair either. I don't think purple usually works much better than blue, but we'll try it. And then while I dye my hair, I can do some reading and watch some booktube and catch up on both of those. Sounds like a good plan. I did, just so you know, I did do some work a little bit earlier, but I was trying to use this plugin thing to make this menu on this website. And I'm stuck. It doesn't work. I've sent off a support email, but I'm pretty much stuck until they come back to me. So I'm just going to put that on hold until next week. And right now, I'm off to the library. Hi. So it is now 8 o'clock and I'm just going to go to bed and keep reading Words of Radiance. I haven't read it at all today, but well, maybe I did. I'm up to page 406 and there's cool pictures. Some more, not quite as cool as the other one, but still cool. I'm excited to keep going with that. Some really cool stuff has been happening in it. I wish I could tell you all about it, but honestly, everything is spoilers. Also, like, I did put some purple in my hair, but you 100% can't see it. It looks just like I put blue in again. So I don't know how that even worked. I guess when I want to actually go to purple, I'm going to have to, like, bleach the blue out somewhat and... I don't know, put some like hardcore purple in. I did mix the purple that I had with the blue, but there was like a tiny bit of blue and then a whole bunch of purple and I even put some pink in and then somehow it just comes out as blue. Like, I don't even think there's even a tiny bit of purple. Weird, but it's fine. I don't mind blue. Oh, also, when I walked to the library, I did finish Quiet Power, so that is good. It doesn't count towards my nude set at all, unfortunately. I also started Sea Witch, but if I'm completely honest, I wasn't really paying attention to it. So I think that I'll listen to it tomorrow when I'm driving to Jace's place, and I might just start again and try to, like, actually focus on what's happening because I wasn't paying attention and I don't really know who the characters are and I don't really know what's happening and I know I had a kind of a similar experience with The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell and then I started again and it went much better so I think I'm just gonna do that and hopefully it'll go much better but right now Words of Radiance I'm excited Good morning it's Friday morning I am about to head off to Jason's. I think, honestly, the weather is so crap. And, like, the main thing is that it's so unpredictable at the moment. Like, it can be beautiful and sunny and then pissing down the next second. So you can't really even just, like, go out in the clear bits because they could end at any moment. So I suspect we're not going to do much. I am going to take my book. But let's be honest, I probably won't read much of it. I'm up to page 478. So... 
slow going, but like I said, I'm really enjoying it. I feel like that's going to be my reading update like the next week. <sighs> I really, I just want to read it. I don't know. Anyway, I am looking forward to spending some time with Jason and then whenever it is that I get home, I will try and work out where we're at. Hopefully on my drive, I will manage to get through a decent amount of Sea Witch, but we will see. If we do do anything, I'll try and capture some of it, but I doubt it. Hey, so it is Saturday afternoon. I'm home from Jason's. He had to work, but I thought I would check in. I did actually manage to read some Words of Radiance while I was at his house. Uh, not that much, but I have also been reading a little bit since I got home. I'm up to page 580, so I'm past halfway. We're making some kind of progress. Um, I... I'm still really loving it. I feel like every reading update I've given this week has just been, I'm still reading Words of Radiance. I'm still really loving it. But that's the truth. Um, I did also restart Sea Witch while I was driving to his place and driving back. And I'm now like two hours in. Um, I'm It's fine. I wish that it had spent a little bit more time like setting up the friendship group because there's obviously a bunch of things that have happened to them when they were kids and it does flashbacks for telling you about it but I, I feel like it would have been better if it just told us it all up front, got us to like know the group of friends and then dealt with like the results of all the drama that happened when they were young rather than just like throwing you into this situation where you don't care about any of these people and like slowly telling you the stuff. Anyway, it's fine. Very romance heavy so far though, which you know I'm not a fan of. But I think what I'm going to do now, uh, to be honest, I don't have any food in my house that is really what I want to eat. So I'm going to go for a walk because I need a walk. And the weather, although it is still crap, is better than it's been all week. And I think it's going to get crap again. So I'm going to go for a walk. And I'm going to get some food that I want to eat for dinner. Um, and then I'll listen to some more of this while I go for a walk. And then when I get home, I'll keep reading Words of Radiance. I'm pretty much just going to spend the whole night reading. And maybe doing like some budgeting. Because like what else would you do on a Saturday night except reading and budgeting? Actually sounds like a great Saturday night to me. But first, a walk. Good morning. So it is Sunday now. I do feel like this week's been kind of a boring week, although I mostly blame the weather for that. Yesterday I did go out for a walk in the end, and when I went out it poured down and there was thunder and lightning, and so that's the last time I'm going to trust this weather we're having lately. Like, if it looks like there's a gap, it's probably a lie. But then when I came home I did read some more of Words of Radiance. I was really enjoying it. I got I only got up to page 636, but something happened that made me go, oh, that means that this person did this thing, and now I'm just waiting for the characters to find that out, and I bet they find it out at the worst possible moment, and we're counting down to some bad thing happening, and I can't wait to find out what the bad thing is. So I'm definitely going to try and read some more of this today. I did also get quite far through Sea Witch. Uh, I only have like two hours to go, which like I'm listening to it on 1.75 times speed, so I could probably finish it quite quickly. But actually, I remembered that I'm supposed to finish Unthinkable before I finish that. So I have Unthinkable down here. Um, it's this book about people with strange brains. I might try and start reading it because I think it's like a chapter for each person with a weird brain. So maybe I'll read the introduction in the first chapter and that won't slow me down too much for this one and I can at least start this. I'm just going to put Sea Witch on hold for now so that I can get everything done in order. I'll start reading like a chapter of this at night or something. I did also start like the first five minutes of The Mad Ship since I've now got nine days left to finish that before it returns itself so at least if I can make some progress through it and I can try to finish Unthinkable, then Sea Witch, and then The Mad Witch, at least in the right order. I forget which exam that's for. Herbology, I want to say. 
Anyway, I think my reading goals for today is just to start unthinkable, maybe read a little bit more of The Mad Witch and try and get a decent amount through this. Otherwise today I don't have that much to do. Again, it looks kind of sunny right now but it's it's a lie, so we can't trust it. I do think I have this big pile of junk down here by my desk. I don't know if I really want to show it to you. It's like such a mess of like, but it's like ponies and books that I want to sell really. So I think what I'm going to do is today I'm going to try and organize that pile and put them up on Trade Me for sale. Pay attention to me. Thank you. I don't really want to do that but I've been putting it off for a while and I should. I'd kind of like to make this like desk space like really clean and beautiful and tidy and then maybe I'll show it to you because it's definitely not right now. I think that's my goal for like the next week is to get this desk tidy. Oh I did also last night do all my budgeting stuff and now I have a beautiful budget and it's really motivated me to be good with my money for the next little bit which is the motivation I needed because if you don't know I'm uh, not working at the moment, I'm living off my savings, which is fine. I have plenty of savings, but they are slowly going down and I'm not ready to go back to work yet. So I do need to be a little bit careful with my money. So it was good to go through that. I will also at some point today edit this vlog and see how boring it is. Sorry if it was, but you know, the other day Nikki was saying that my vlogs make my life look interesting and I needed to just give you guys the truth in that it's actually pretty boring. So welcome to reality. Um, I'll check in again later. Good morning! So it is Monday now. I was gonna give you guys like a final summary last night but then I was reading and it got really late and I fell asleep so we're gonna give you an update of where we're at now. Uh, yesterday I did manage to do some of the tidying I said I was gonna do so now you'll see we have this somewhat tidier. We also have books like all the way over there and we have more ponies and boxes over there but I promise you it is more tidy than it was before and I also took photos of a bunch of it didn't actually get to listing any of it up for sale but I have photos so I made progress I just ran out of energy to do the last but I will do that sometime in the coming week I guess. As far as reading goes for Words of Radiance I'm making much faster progress now I think. I'm up to page 777 and of course I'm loving it. I just got to the end of part three and there was this amazing jewel and normally I don't like battle scenes that much but it was amazing and then some big screw-ups happened and the last section of the book is going to be so exciting and I can't wait to read it. I hope it doesn't take me too much longer to finish. Anyway, so that we've made some good progress on that this week actually I think considering how massive it is. I also did read the first chapter of Unthinkable yesterday. I meant to read the next one. I do think I'm going to love this. It's all about understanding the brain through learning about brains that are different in an extreme way totally the kind of stuff I love so I am excited to continue with this. Uh, I'll definitely be reading this next week because it, as I said I need to just start getting into my potions. I've also got Sea Witch where I've just got a couple of hours left and the Mad Witch, I mean the Mad Ship which I need to read 32 more hours of in the next eight days. That's four hours a day. That maths is somewhat scary but that's okay. So that's four books that I've got in progress at the moment. I did also manage to finish one short audiobook this week which was Quiet Power which wasn't even the book that I thought I was reading. So even though I did a lot of reading this week I feel like I just started lots of things and didn't finish anything. So next week I'll try to do some finishing but thank you so much for hanging out with me this week. Well this week just been, it's actually Monday now so it's already next week. Anyway, thanks for hanging out. Um, I hope that everything's going great for you and I will see you soon.